Yeah, man! Hello! My name is Miguel. Today, I'm gonna make for you canned ackee fruit and a codfish. You're gonna need a can of Jamaican ackee fruit, half pound codfish, half sweet pepper, quarter teaspoon dried pimento berries, a spring of thyme, three garlic cloves, stock of scallion, half scotch bonnet pepper, three or four tablespoons of cooking oil. I use coconut oil and some water. So I want to get this codfish out of the way. So what people do traditionally is wash the salt of the codfish on the running water and then they add the codfish to boiling water and put the codfish to boil for like five minutes allow it to cool and then they scrape off the skin you see me trying to get on the right now but what i like to do is to get off the codfish skin before i boil it get beneath the codfish's skin codfish's flesh and the skin get a groove peel off skin if you add the codfish a little bit too long it get moist so the skin might give you a little challenge to get off this way but if you're patient you'll get it do as you see me doing peel off the codfish's skin the salted codfish's skin I like doing it this way to me I don't get no scale in my meal that's the idea rinse your skin Codfish. I am going to demonstrate. I'm going to show you how I would rinse it. Put codfish in a bowl of water, but before you put the codfish in a bowl of water, remove or shake off excess salt. Just be careful of the, the bones. I add the codfish to a bowl, work out the salt in the water. Industries, salt fish to preserve it so that we can have it to eat anytime any season remove this water add fresh water some people say they soak fish in water overnight but if you're in hurry you can do it this way best if you do this part on the running water while rinsing the fish squeeze it firmly to squeeze it get out the excess water and salt so once you do that, on the fresh running water, get a bowl, add some water, add the codfish, put to eat, allow to boil for 5 minutes. Leave the lid halfway open. While we wait for the codfish to pre-cook, we're going to prepare our vegetables. Peel onion, remove the brown skin. First layer of the onion is the strongest, remove it only if it's spoiled. Spring of thyme. Cut sweet pepper in half, remove seeds, clean out the inside of the sweet pepper properly. Peel garlic, cut ends, trim spoilage like this. Scallion, remove dying leaves, cut off ends, cut root end off and the tip of the leaf that's dying. Visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe. I'm using half scotch bonnet pepper. I'm taking it from my pickled scotch bonnets that I made at home. You want to see how to make pickled scotch bonnet? Visit jamaicadinners.com. It's best if you do this part on the running water, but get a bowl, add some water. Drizzle a tablespoon of distilled white vinegar in it. Now wash your vegetables properly. Piece sweet pepper, rub your finger and get between the grooves and wash the sweet pepper properly. Rub the leaf of the scallion and wash it properly. Get off the dirt. Thyme stick, sometimes mildew, so you gotta wash that properly as well. After wash, give it a final rinse. It's best if you do this part on the running water. Turn the stove off. Leave the codfish in the water for a minute or a minute or so. It's been five minutes. Codfish been boiling away. You can take it out now if you want, you know. But I'm gonna let it stay for a minute. Slice onion one sixteenth between one eighth of an inch. Slices. You see with these round onion, you know, you gotta be careful with the onion kind of shift and the sharp knife. So that's why I'm being very cautious when it comes to cutting onions more than anything else. Diced scallion. Piece 
sweet pepper and note you can use bell pepper or pepper to make some nice little slices it's been less than a minute so I'm just gonna remove the codfish from the hot water lay it on a plate a clean plate you see how clean the one is that I stripped compared to the one that I scraped and put it on a plate allow it to cool if you were doing it the other way now you would have boiled it and you would have added skin on it so you allowed it to cool and then after cool you kind of scrape off the codfish's scale or the codfish's skin keep ingredients separate Gather your ingredients. We're getting ready to cook canned ackee fruit codfish stew. But first, we have to debone this codfish. So it's old, easy to handle. So go through. Don't break the codfish up too small. Remove the bones from the codfish. Usually these long ones, a group of them, always the same place. Remove those long ones, the codfish backbone. That's what you have to worry about. So once you do that, break the codfish in big chunks, maybe two, three inches chunks. And now we're gonna open this can of Aki, Jamaica Aki. Wipe the can, the surface of the can with a clean tablecloth or paper towel. Use your can opener, open the can. If you wanna do it my way, all I'm doing is sticking the surface with a sharp knife, sharp, firm knife. And once I get it old, I just use the knife and open it just remember cut away from you if you decide to do it this way cut away from you so if it slips it slips in the atmosphere because I cook online most people have access to the canned aki so I felt obligated to do this recipe and to I'm declaring it's the very first time I'm using canned aki once I burst the can, you can smell the aroma. It smell like butter aki. Awesome. Best aki, we call it butter aki here in Jamaica. And initially, when I open the can, I smell the butter aki. Look how bright yellow these aki fruits are. I'm 100% impressed. Look, it's already cooked. You remember I always say when, it, when it's cooked, it have that nice bright yellow color? That's what it has. Get a colander like this and pour your aki in a can in it and let it drain once it's drained you just gently pour some regular fresh water over it and rinse it a little bit do as you see me doing so this is the aki fruit it's already cooked you can eat it just like this it's soft and tenderized guess what guys you all are getting the quality aki because we have many species of aki if you don't have a colander you can use a strainer do as you see me doing just gently Pour some fresh water over the aki and rinse it. This part is probably not necessary, but it force of habit. I like to, anything that I open in a can, I like to rinse off. Rinse off whatever came in it. Rinse off the water that it came in. It's actually the same aki that we get out here. And the can one is the, the quality aki. I am like over 100% impressed. From this one can of aki, I'm gonna make two different dishes. Aki fruit stew and aki and codfish stew. This is where you need to go check out the other video if you're watching this one. Now put to heat a saucepan. I'm using a medium sized saucepan. Like I said, I'm gonna show you how to maximize flavors from the dried fermented berries without having them in the meal. So with the saucepan, be sure the saucepan is dried out properly. Put saucepan to heat. Put the stove gauge on low add oil add cooking oil i use coconut oil stove gauge is on low add half of quarter cup about four tablespoons of coconut oil measure and add quarter teaspoon dried pimento berries to the eating oil allow it to flavor the oil stove gauge is on low allow I believe if you keep it on low, it reduces the risk of the berries bursting and hurting you. Allow the berries to flavor the oil. After five minutes, the stove gauge, the stove gauge has been on low. Use a cooking spoon and remove the berries from the eating oil. At this point, you're going to be smelling the aroma of the berries cooking. Add your codfish chunks to the eating oil. 
Turn the stove's gauge on 4, medium low. Now would be a good time to turn the stove's gauge on 4, medium low. Add the codfish. Be sure the codfish is, 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 is evenly placed at the pot's bottom. Allow. After a minute, I didn't move the codfish or anything. I just allowed it to fry crisp, crispy. Alright, after a minute, use a spoon and kind of flip the codfish. It might stick a little, but it's okay. Just, just just be firm. After you flip the codfish, we're doing a dry cook today. We're not adding plenty of oil and we're not adding plenty of water. Alright, so after you flip the codfish, about a few seconds after, maybe three, four, five seconds after, add your sliced onions. Use your cooking spoon and kind of shuffle the onions evenly at the pot's bottom. On the codfish, some is going to be on the codfish and some of the sliced onion is going to be at the, on the pot's bottom. So just allow it to saute. Alright, now when we're going to add this ackee fruit, when we're going to add this ackee fruit, we don't want to add any water. So if water is in a bowl where the ackee fruit is in, kind of do what you see me doing and remove the excess water. I'm totally impressed with these canned apples. I would have told you if it wasn't good. Alright, so 15-20 seconds after you add the diced scallion, use your, wooden spoon, use your cooking spoon and stir, stir in the onion with the fried codfish and allow. And let me be clear, this is a method, this is one method of cooking this meal. Another method, you could have added the, the, the onions first, allow them to saute, and then add the codfish, and then, and then continue. But, I, I like to fry the codfish crispy. 20 seconds later, stirring in the pot a few times, after the onions are sauteed a, a little bit, add your cooked Aki fruits, scotch bunny pepper, fold in or stir in, but what I want you to do is lip and fold. You gotta be mind, mindful that the ackees are very very soft and you don't want to break them up. After that you add about a tablespoon of water, you add this, the sweet pepper or, or bell pepper saucepan, use the pan's and lid, All right. Right. so you want to keep the lid on within the time, it's gonna build steam and keep the stew moist. After a minute between two, this is what it looks like. It's gonna stir it in, remember now. Fold and lift gently. Don't wanna break the ackee fruits up. All right, so that's it, it's finished. The stove skin has been on for all this time. Turn it off, finish. It's best served within the time. I'm removing the time stick. Some of the time species are very strong, so you gotta watch the time. All right, take a scoop of this canned ackee fruit codfish stew and lay it. Well, I'm laying it on on a plate with two fingers of bananas. They probably do it the traditional way by adding the onions first, allow the onions to saute, then you add the the codfish, then the, the ackee fruits. Like I said, I like to fry it crispy, and I think that you would like it that way too. This is canned ackee fruit codfish stew. Visit JamaicaDinners.com for the recipe. Subscribe, like, share. You should try cooking this meal yourself and give us feedback. This method that I'm showing, this is the way they serve it in the hotels. They probably don't fry it crispy as, as I do. If you want to see canned ackee fruit stew, visit JamaicaDinners.com. Oh yes, and if you can, remove these garlic, whole garlic, because we don't want them to mash out in the stew, if you remember.
See what I'm telling you? Look how crispy it looks. It looks crispy. You can't tell if it's crispy. Don't it look crispy? It do look crispy. Everybody who knows about Aki and Saltfish love Aki and Saltfish. This is always served in fancy restaurants. On the street now, our, our mom and pop restaurants, they give us a lot more gravy because they know we want gravy. Although we removed the bones, there might be a few in it same way, so watch out. Notice we eat in freely. We don't have to worry about taking out pimento berries or putting pimento berries aside. The flavor of the fruit is clean. Like I said, I'm 100% impressed with the canned ackee. Ackee now is Jamaica's national fruit. This dish that I'm eating is the dish that we use to represent the fruit. The dish is not a national dish. I don't think it is. But we use ackee and sawfish to represent the ackee fruit. Ackee fruit is Jamaica's national fruit. The flavor of it is very unique. It's hard to describe. You will only have to try it. It's one that you would like. I'm yet to find somebody that say they don't like ackee. It's healthy. However, I would recommend that you don't eat it regular because it's also fattening. It's probably high in cholesterol. Fat is cholesterol, right? Calories is something different. Calories is what we gather or get or something like that. I'm not sure. I especially did this canned ackee for my international audience. Most Jamaicans don't buy canned ackee. If you're a Jamaican, you've probably seen how the canned ackee look for the first time just like me. The flavor of it is clean. I'm impressed. The regulator boards, the regulators, I say good job. International regulators, they demand of us for it to be a specific way and we go overboard. Jamaicans here are doing a very good job with this Aki thing. It's the very first time that I bought an Aki and I'm impressed. I'm not going to buy it again here in Jamaica because I can have the fruit itself. I don't need to buy the can ackee. And the can ackee is also available in Jamaica here in the supermarket. Because a lot of people, a lot of times when I'm in the supermarket, I see people buying the can ackee. And oftentimes wonder. But maybe that's what they're accustomed to. Aki makes a lovely sandwich as well. All right, what good? Yeah, man! This is Aki fruit on the tree when it's not ready for harvest. This is Aki on the tree when it's not ready for cooking. And this is how it looks when it's ready for harvest. It should open by itself naturally. It should burst open by itself on the tree naturally. Then it's ready for harvest. 